Hi guys, today on Mr. Hollow Point, out of sheer boredom, we decided to do something different. I broke out the big bore. What we've got is a 458 long action Quackenbush. Uh, this gun has had a lot of extensive work done on it. It's got a custom Steve C stock, with a super nice recoil pad. It's got a big bore bob super tuned. It's got a tungsten hammer, extra heavy, super long, super long, super long. It's 39 inches of barrel, including the muzzle brake. Uh, I've got a uh, Savarsky scope on top. Uh, this is the gun that I used to take uh, one of the big big hogs with uh, up in Michigan. Uh, 400 grain bullet out of this guy at 3,500 PSI is doing about 850 feet a second. Pretty good for 400 grain hollow point. This is the hollow point. How about some of that action for you, baby? You can see the size of that right there. And that's my lightweight bullet. Okay. Uh, today we decided to play. Uh, I taped together four water jugs uh, just to kind of see what would happen. The uh, ballistic gel that I'm making up with the jello is not sturdy enough. It's still wiggly like jello brand gelatin. So I can't be using that just yet. Uh, we'll do a little video with the uh, water jugs and we'll come back at you. Hi folks, today on Celebrity Corner, we've got giant Hank Williams Jr. He's gonna help us answer some of the questions that viewers write in. Today, we have a question from a Mr. Jay Haley. He writes in and says, I'm going on a wild hog hunt soon and was wondering, do you think Tom Selleck could beat Osama Bin Laden in a Texas cage match on Friday night SmackDown? Oh, definitely. Oh, that's great news. I'm glad we could answer that for you. All right, Hank, take it away. That's all we have for tonight. Take care. Holy schmoly. Oh, did you see what happened? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. It took me forever because I didn't mark the jugs, one, two, three, four, which my wife told me afterwards I should have. But I did try to tape them together so they'd stay as a solid mass, you know, of, of water for, you know, they just wouldn't be falling all over the place. Uh, at the distance, the jugs weren't 100% in line, which I thought they were, but they're not. And as we play with them, we can see this was jug one. And here is a dead-on perfect circle hole. I shot a lot lower than I, than I wanted to, um, but it's dead in. That's where she came out. And then I went to jug two, continued out. Jug three and out into this weavery of jug four where it busts in the bottom and 
popped out there. So it actually went through all four jugs um, at a slight angle. Like I said, I didn't have them, I don't have a laser sight set up, so it wasn't, you know, like straight, straight. So I actually came in at, at an angle I didn't realize. Um, none, none of the water went into the barrel, so I got four gallons of water rolling all over the floor into the drain. Um, put that in a bit. Anyways. Uh, that's a massive damage to bullet pass all the way through and I still have to dig around for it. Uh, but I would venture to say that uh, this rifle would be dangerous on any big game, whether buffalo, moose, elk. Uh, it is a phenomenal monster big bore. That gun is actually tuned to shoot a 475 grain bullet uh, at 3900 PSI. It's a real force to reckon with. All right, that's all for now, uh, Mr. Hollow Point. Um, any closing remarks, Mr. Hollow Rat? No, none whatsoever? Okay, well, me and the rat say goodbye for now.